Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft. I wanted to do some, as I've recently figured out something really cool, and you, probably, as you might, as not, might already know how to do this, but I thought it was really awesome, so I wanted to do a video on it. Uh, I recently figured it out uh, use, using a, a mod I've got installed, uh, which you all probably know, single player commands, how to enchant objects by simply having a command. Now, I wanted to go over the fact that this can be used to enchant a lot of different items, not just weapons and tools and armor. It's like we'll get some diamond boots, and uh, we'll get... Um, Let's get a wooden sword, and, and we'll grab a, um, an iron shovel. So, okay, so uh, you notice I've got a lot of weird stuff in my inventory right now. I've got an, an iron door, and a wooden door, and a uh, bucket, a saddle, a bow, a sign, so of course the diamond boots, this wooden sword, and this iron shovel. Now, you can use single player commands, pull up single player commands. Notice I've, set, I've got some things on this, flame one enchantment was added, it's a bow enchantment be added to anything though. So I can enchant swords with things that would normally be bow enchantments and vice versa. Um, also you can enchant items like iron doors and um, and buckets and saddles. So like I can plot this door and so I want this door to be a door of knockback 12. So slash enchant add. You want to add the enchantment to the um, to the to the item and then uh, knockback one word and 12. Now you can go up to 100 without derping out. So, um, for the record, Feather Falling uh, 100 and, uh, actually allows you to fall from like 100 blocks high. Just within, you take about half your HP and damage, but you still survive the fall, so that's pretty awesome. How did that certificate get up there? You know what? I'm not even going to ask. Okay, so and then you hit enter, and now this door is enchanted with Knockback 12. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, let me switch, move an item here, and we'll grab a, uh, a mob egg out of here. Uh, the pig. Pig is good. We'll use a pig, actually. Let's delete that real fast and grab a whole stack of pig eggs. Hello, pig. Now it's got knockback 12 on it, which means if I can ever hit the pig, it goes flying whenever you hit it with, this, with the door. Which is kind of fun to do, to be honest. It bounces off the places. Okay, and this pig will be our kind of our test dummy until it dies. All right, pig. Oh, I need to close this off. Um, go back this way. Okay. Well, we'll try another enchantment. We'll put it on the door. On this other door, this wooden door. You can enchant this one too. Enchant add. Um, let's give it, let's give it fire aspect. Now this is a two-word enchantment. So you have to put a. And you notice how I have the uh, what was it called underscore underneath it. You also have an underscore underscore where the space would be for it to work. And we want this to be fire epic 5, because we want it to burn like crazy. Now we hit the pig with the door, and the pig lights on fire. Which is going to, when the pig dies, it's going to give us some nice tasty bacon. So that's, that'll be cooking our bacon. And we'll make another pig, because he's going to be dead soon. Oh, he didn't drop anything. That's gay. Um, we'll give this bucket fortune. So we're going to enchant. Again, with the enchant. Add fortune. If I can spell it. Fortune 2. And now this gives it a higher drop chance on monsters when you kill it with the bucket. Now, it's not really all that eventful, but it's still nice nonetheless. And uh, the reason I really wanted to do this video is because... Oh, we dropped the screen. It's because something I saw a lot in Vex maps that I really thought was really cool is uh, Battle Signs, at least in the uh, Spellbound Caves uh, Super Hostile map and uh, that I've been playing by, by myself in single player recently. And uh, so I wanted to really figure out how to do this, and this allows me to do exact, just that. Now, I've got a bow in here that I've... You guys should put more... I'll explain that in a minute. We got a bow in there that's super powerful that I'll, I'll show you guys how, how powerful it is in a minute um, after I enchant this sign. And now, you can give items multiple enchantments. So I want the sign to be knockback four. And um, let's give it, a, we'll give it sharpness two. Knockback four slash enchant add knockback two. Okay, so now this is a double enchanted weapon, and just, you can give it any number of enchantments you want. And you, I wouldn't stack the enchantments, I don't think that really works. I haven't tested it out too well though, so it, may, it might actually work just fine. So uh, this, this sword will spawn another pig. So it's got sharpness to, or not, oh, I give it knockback, to, uh, knockback twice, okay, so um, it's basically got knockback 7 now, so, or knockback 6, so it's going to fly really far. Uh, I apparently messed up, so let's give it, let's give it uh, sharpness 2. Enchant, add sharpness to. There we go. Now we'll give it more damage. Now we're not only able to fly, 
but it will go away. And this is actually a really good opportunity to show you how to remove enchantments. You can't remove specific enchantments, you have to remove them all off and start over. So it's kind of bad if you make a mistake five or six enchantments in, but it's it's still helpful if you make it like one or two in. So it's enchant. Wow. Enchant remove. And that will remove every enchantment from your current item in your slot. Now, to make sure you enchant the weapons, the weapons and items, you have to hold them in your inventory slot. And they have to be like the one in your hand. So, and so yeah. So um, I've enchanted some stuff recently that uh, just trying to be funny and stuff like that. That I'm going to use in uh, some up upcoming series that I find to be quite nice. This is Feather Falling Four Boots Protection. This is this is my old enchantment boots. Uh, I don't know what happened to my new ones. So oh no, oh, I guess I got rid of them. I guess I'll, I'll just re-enchant these. And we'll grab, um, where is it at? Is it not in that chest? It's in one of these chests. Hmm. It might have despawned. Well, uh, never mind. Then I had a, I had a sign that, I guess the sign changed back to normal. Uh, so be careful when you put these in chests. Apparently they might change, things that aren't supposed to be enchanted might change back to normal when you uh, put them in chests. But I don't know. So, um, we're going to need to use single player commands right now because we need a big monster to test this out on uh, and I've tested it before and it's pretty powerful now this bow I only need one arrow because it's got infinity one power ten flame one and punch two so it does more knockback it's got enough damp power that um, at power five you can do enough damage to do eleven to twelve and a half hearts of damage per hit at maximum charge on the bow and this has double that so I'm hitting like twenty to twenty four hearts of damage per go and uh, so that's, and then of course infinity, which means you won't need one arrow, which is really nice. And flame, which obviously lights things on fire. So we're gonna point at a block slash spawn giant. He's in the wrong area, but it's okay because we don't. We just need to shoot him. One. Uh, and it's really hard to hit him when he's that far away. Two. Three. Moving to create him as we can follow him. Four. Now, giants, uh, for the record, have some ungodly high amount of HP. And it, it takes literally forever, even with a diamond sword, to kill a giant. And I just foreshot it. So you can see this bow is just a bit overpowered. Um, and it will probably break sooner than rather than later. But I found that weapons is powerful, you don't have a use for them unless you want to be funny and use a battle sign, like I have been using, like a sign here. This is Oh, this is my battle sign, here it is. Knockback 5, Fire Aspect 5, Power 5, Sharpness 5. So it, it's got both the bu the weapon damage enchantments for bows and swords, and basically I can use this to farm mobs indefinitely with not having to worry about the zombies who take more than one hit, because it's, it does enough dam bonus damage with a sign that it's just murdering them. And that's how I'm getting a lot of the items that I'm enchanting, actually. Um, yeah, so I've been playing around with this, with this quite a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, um, be sure to post a comment. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If it's your favorite video of all time, be sure to favorite it. And if, even if it's not your favorite video of all time, favorites are much appreciated. But yeah, so uh, if you, like I said, if you like it, remember to like and subscribe. And this is Gravion, signing out.